to the Weather Authority forecast. Meteorologist Violet Skyber is in with new information on Thursday turning into Friday. Feeling like and fall, huh? And turning into fall. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are just about a week away from the official start of fall, but we are going to get a little flavor of fall for the next couple of days with a big cool down on the way and some breezy conditions as well, making it feel a little bit cooler than the actual temperature. As we look ahead to the weekend, though, it will be warmer, feeling a lot more like summer as we climb back into the 80s. And we're also tracking our next soggy system, bringing the chance for rain looking ahead to Sunday and into the first start of the week next week. So let's start with this evening. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. A couple of scattered thunderstorms across the north country heading to the south and east along a cold front that's dropping in from the north. However, this rain doesn't look to hit Syracuse. It's looking to move towards Old Forge and maybe skimming the Rome and Utica area. And as this cold front drops through, it's going to bring us some cooler and breezy conditions for tomorrow and into Friday as well. But our next weather system behind that will bring the opposite. We're tracking a warm front that will bring a warm up for the weekend and some stormy weather on the way on Sunday and into Monday as well. So as far as our temperatures go, we're going to see a huge change just in the next few days. Tomorrow, highs will only be in the mid 60s, dropping into the mid 40s in Syracuse at night, but could even be in the upper 30s for some of those higher elevations. That's probably the first night you'll have to turn on the heat for this year. Looking ahead to Friday, not as cool. Highs will be in the upper 60s and at night only in the 50s, but it will be the opposite situation for the weekend. Saturday, climbing into the 80s, only dropping down into the 60s at night, so you may need to turn the AC back on for this weekend. So hopefully it didn't take it out, or if not, you could use a box fan for this weekend. Still going to be just as warm on Sunday in the 80s and then 60s at night. Our next chance for rain looking to hold off until the second half of the weekend. So we'll get dry weather for the next three days in a row. Then on Sunday, scattered thunderstorms, but a better chance to see occasional showers and storms arrives on Monday, eventually tapering off by early Tuesday with just a few isolated showers lingering in the picture. Now let's time out your forecast hour by hour. Some scattered thunderstorms across the north country heading to the south and east, looking to stay generally out of Syracuse, but will reach the Mohawk Valley. There could be a sprinkle in Syracuse in the overnight as that cold front drops through, and then we dry out heading into Thursday. Temperatures will be around 50 degrees in Syracuse, but the upper 40s starting tomorrow morning, probably cool enough to need that light jacket. Then as we go towards the afternoon, not much relief from the cool weather. Temperatures will only reach the low to mid 60s in Syracuse, but some spots might not even make it out of the 50s. And we're looking at partly sunny skies, but more sunshine by the late afternoon to evening. Check of your seven day forecast 60s for the next couple of days, 40s in the overnight heading into Friday may need to turn the heat back on, but you will likely want the AC looking ahead to the weekend 80s Saturday, partly sunny for the canine carnival scattered storms still in the 80s Sunday and then cooling down into the 70s to start next week with the wettest day looking like Monday, but gradually drying out by the midweek. Michael. Thank you.